You're watching content created here at the Sci Conference 2014, and we're going to talk to one of our keynote speakers, Misha Dollar. Uh, you had a very nice uh, uh, keynote uh, about connecting all these systems in a city. Obviously, more and more is happening. So, um, what do you think is, is the, the biggest are the biggest insights in in this moment for for people uh, um, when when they're thinking of smart cities? So. The biggest challenge is still to connect all these sensors and objects we want to have in the city, whether it's a parking sensor, whether it's the the the, the light control, etc., irrigation sensor. And we've been working on the connectivity for the past 10 years. We did a lot of mistakes designing systems which wouldn't work well. But currently there are a lot of really interesting tectonic shifts happening with new systems appearing like low power wide area networks, cellular systems, being able to reuse the infrastructure we have out there and connect our billions or trillions of sensors in the city and the globe at large. This was for me an insight because you described cellular, which we could descri uh, describe a little bit as an an old or uh, a technology, and even Wi-Fi uh, also maybe considered uh, old, uh, but still as being a key element in these new system because of their specifics. Absolutely, old is good because it's deployed, so we don't need to roll out new infrastructure. It's there. So if we can reuse that very same infrastructure to connect new objects, so not our mobile phones, not our op uh, laptops, but actual sensors, that would be great because the capital expenditure is much lower. On the other hand, of course, we have a lot of technical challenges of making it happen. Because your mobile phone, you need to recharge it once a day. Your laptop needs to be connected all the time. A sensor, you can't do that. You can't change a battery once a day, etc. So we really need to decrease, essentially, the energy consumption. And that is the big engineering challenge which I've been alluding to in my talk. Uh, could you just share with us one or two things that are already happening on increasing the battery life or better uh, decreasing the energy uses uh, of, the, of the sensors? Right, so the first thing we realized when we designed the first sensor connectivity system called ZigBee, that actually power is not a problem. We want to have high power because power gives you range. We want low energy because that is what drains your battery. So the big challenge was now to move from a Zigbee-like system to another system like a cellular or low-powered area network, which transmits at slightly higher powers or significantly larger powers, but which does the job much quicker because we know that energy and power is related with time. So if you make sure your sensor wakes up, transmits at high power, very quickly the data it needs to transmit goes back to sleep, you have the same energy consumption as with a little low power module. This and a lot more in your uh, talk. Thank you for, uh, for being with us, uh, Misha Dollar. You want to watch the entire talk, please visit on this website uh, uh, the video that will give you access to the entire keynote and uh, share all this information that was created here at the Sci Conference 2014. And don't forget, if you like, share. And maybe we see you here next year at the conference in 2015. Thank you for watching.